Hey guys, it's Harlow of Harlow Heslop's Virtual Adventures, and I am finally getting around to doing a video for you of Burrow Company. I know, this should have been probably my first video that I featured on uh, my vlog, but we were doing a little bit of construction and switching over for fall, so um, I didn't really get a chance to. So um, I know Aria has been on me about getting a video done of The Sims. So Aria, I'm finally doing it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a little walkthrough of The Sim today. I'd like to say it's gonna be quick, but there's a lot to see, So um, and I like to ramble. So uh, yeah, but I really wanted to give you guys a chance to really see all the details of Burrow. Um, we get a lot of visitors every single day, and I don't think people really know what all The Sim entails and what all we have. So um, I really wanted to kind of give you guys a better look, um, in-depth look of The Sim. So we are gonna start at the cafe. And we are at the entrance point here. Um, the cafe build I have used for over a year now and it is from Fnatic and I love it. I have customized it like crazy. Um, Ari and I have changed up the decor quite a bit. Lucky put new flooring in for us recently. So um, it's definitely very different um, from the main uh, build that Fnatic made, which by the way is a fantastic building if you ever wanna use it for something and it's highly moddable, so, uh, which is really nice. So. This is our entrance point here. We use teleport boards on the sim. Um, this is just kind of the, the all the things board that features all of our links to our website, our group um, events calendar, both our Flickr page and Flickr group, our Discord and our Facebook page. Um, over here, Lucky installed us a really nice um, calendar so people can see what the future events are which is really nice today we've got tally and we have our management meeting on there as well so um if you join the group it's 250 lindens currently to join uh, super affordable um gets you this cute little to-go cup uh, which is adorable and then for an additional 250 if you're interested you can get your cup customized so that it has your name or whatever you want written on it as well uh, I do those for people and they've been really popular. People really like them. So this is our coffee bar area and we have a variety of different coffee items, pastries. You can click this back espresso machine here and it will give you options for various drinks, which is really nice. Um, this was a um, Jason Momoa barista that uh, Chris Lehman of Botanical made for me a while back. I wish it would res for you guys. It's being silly at the moment, but um, I am a big fan of Jason Momoa. I just think he's fantastic. So he made this really fun cutout of him. I do not know why it's not wanting to res. Let's try and do this and see if I can set it to a texture refresh. Hopefully that'll pop in for a second and I can show you guys his beautiful barista face. Um, Lana Latte is our bro bot. She has quite the personality and she's always got donuts that you can grab. Um, and she just stands here behind the register. There, Jason Resden for us. He's so pretty. I love that he put a bro apron on him and everything. He's kind of a staple around here and quite the conversation starter. Um, so yeah, this is our coffee bar. I love our little cake stand back here and just lots of really nice things to admire and some of the things you can click on to get various items as well. So out here is our little patio space. Um, it's a great spot to go on a date, um, hang out with friends. Uh, Aria did a really nice job of decorating the little landscaping boxes here for us. Uh, as you can see, Purr is enjoying some time over here right now. We've got some other people out here. Um, just a really nice little outdoor space off to the side of the patio, which um, gives people a great space to have conversations with friends. So. Over here is my favorite spot in um, the vine or in the cafe area. Um, this seems to be probably the most popular area as well for people to spend time. Uh, it's just a little hangout spot. These couches from Craftwork worked really well back here, and um, yeah, cozy. Also a great spot to hang out with friends and loved ones. 
over here, we just redid this area. Aria did a lot of work over here in this space. Um, just other spaces for people to spend time and hang out. We try to make some like more private secluded areas. So if you're here on a date or you're, you know, just AFK studying or doing something else in real life and want a spot to sit to have that kind of ambience, this is a great spot here. I love these privacy screens from Craftwork as well. Uh, really, really nice. And then a little seating area over here. And then more seating over here for people to spend time at. And then I love this little booth space back here um, that we put together. It's a nice little area for people to come spend time as well. Out to the left is our atrium, and this was inspired by a greenhouse that Aria had created um, a few years ago for my apothecary sim. Uh, we wanted to kind of bring that back a little bit, but make a really good stage area for people to um, entertain and spend time in. It's also nice too, because when there's different seasons, we still kind of have a summery and warm, colorful vibe here in the greenhouse. Um, L DJ L Monday, Electric Monday, she DJs here on Sunday mornings, and uh, it's become a really fun space uh, on Sundays for us. Cafe does have multiple levels, so I am gonna climb up these stairs here and show you guys some other spaces up above. This is one thing I really love about the cafe is these multiple, multiple levels. It really kind of breaks space apart um, into different areas for people to spend time. So a little level here for hanging out. And then got another one over here. She's really cute. This was a little study area I created, kind of like if you'd go to a real cafe and uh, a real cafe and uh, find a place to get some work done. Um, I love our wall with all of our coffee themed stuff here. But we have little computer stations. We even can try to kind of decorate them. I've got like a Discord screen, um, another game going there, a little coffee station here um, for people to get coffee while they're working. Flickr page and YouTube. So fun little spot. And then this is like a conference area. So if you've got a group and you need a spot to have a meeting in Second Life, this is a great spot to do it. And then up on our top level of the cafe space is the Great Wall of Chatterbox. These are the commoner chatterboxes. And if you click one, it'll pop a question up in local. Each one is a different themed box. I do own every single chatterbox uh, that has been created and we do feature every single chatterbox here at Burrow. It's a really awesome place to come and get to know somebody. Um, awesome conversation starters in each of those boxes, which is great. So yeah, this is just a good hangout spot up here. And then the top level also has this little ledge that goes along here with more seating and space to hang out with your friends. I love our sign here. You can't make everybody happy. You're not coffee. So true, right? All right. Fly down the stairs here. We will just go ahead and move on. And I'll try to make this as cohesive as possible today and just make one big video that kind of shows the sim. Out here is our entrance point. We do have a community board. These are people that I have swapped logos with in the community. Uh, we are really big on supporting other places that um, we feel are great to visit in Second Life. I am missing a few up here. I need, I was in the process of redoing this board and it does not want to res for me at the moment, but lots of other great places to visit. And we also have the Let's Music um, kiosk out. Let's is fantastic. They um, showcase a variety of venues, DJs, musicians, um, hosts and such on their website. 
So as you travel along, we have a little forked area here. Uh, down here leads to our dock space. Whoops. And this is just a little dock area for people to spend time and hang out at. And we've got it all set up for autumn. The boat out here has some couples poses in it as well, which are really nice for people to spend time at. And travel back up the path here. And then if you go down the other way at that fork, This just is some wooded space that wraps around to our campfire. And Aria and I had a lot of fun decorating for fall. It's both of our favorite seasons and we definitely wanted to uh, make it as colorful and beautiful as possible. I love these signs that she put out. So yonder this way um, this way up to the right will lead you up to our bridge but we are gonna go and show you guys first the campfire space Just over here to the right so our campfire um, is pretty special it is um, parceled off differently than the rest of bro and has old-time radio or classic old-time radio stories um, playing 24-7 uh, when you turn the stream on here, you will get a commercial at first, and then it'll go into various um, mystery and crime and spooky ghost stories uh, like Dick Tracy and a variety of other really cool um, retro stories from about the 1920s all the way through the 1950s or so. So um, this has been a really big hit lately, and people have really enjoyed it. We also have our little food truck back here. And then also at the campfire, we do our spill the ink sessions with our hostess, Brooke, um, where people come and have um, an open mic session for poetry, song, various short stories. Um, it's a really special session. We really enjoy it. And then we also have crime time with Miss Mir once a month here as well. And Vanity Rear reads some serial killer or crime stories that are fascinating and intriguing. And then we discuss them after. So yeah, that is our campfire. And we are gonna backtrack a little bit here and go around to the bridge, because I think the bridge is kind of beautiful and a good spot to show you guys. So we go up the hill here, and then this really steep climb. <laughs> and this leads up to this little bridge that we created. The cool thing is, once you get to the top of the bridge, it does overlook the campfire below, which is really nice. V is down there at the moment. She must be listening to some of those radio shows. Uh, kind of gives you a nice view of the whole sim from up here. We are really proud of this sim. We've put a lot of heart and love and effort and creativity into making this place. and. I feel like as time goes on, it becomes more and more home for so many people. And um, we've really enjoyed making a really special community for people. So this kind of gives you a really good overview of the sim from up here. We're always kind of altering and changing things to keep things fresh, new, and exciting. But at the same time, we try hard to keep a lot of things similar so that it always feels familiar and like home to people. So this leads down the path. We <laughs> And you can take a left here and that'll lead you back over to the lake area and the campfire. But if you go right here, we are at our meadow. And the meadow is where we do a lot of our live music, um, which we have a really good time with. Uh, tonight we were featuring Tally. He is one of our main acts that we feature here at Burrow. We don't do a whole lot of live music, um, not compared to a lot of other really great music venues, just because costs are really limited for us and our, um, our budget is very limited. So we do try to keep things um, 
pretty simple in the live music department. I definitely wish we could feature more. Um, it's just, it gets expensive and we know the artists deserve to be paid. So uh, we typically have artists here that um, just have really a big passion for borough and want to be a part of the community. And on occasion, we do hire out some really amazing and talented singers. I'm always amazed with um, the talent that exists in Second Life. There's so many really wonderful uh, musicians and singers here. So yeah, the field is, or the meadow is a really great place for us to have parties and events. We just hosted our harvest hoedown here, had a barn res out. Um, we really enjoy this space. And DJ L DJed here the other night. We made it look like a drive-in movie place. So that was cool as well. So this, you can hear the games in the background that people are playing right now. Uh, we will get to the game area in a few minutes. So this is our beach that we are coming out onto right now. Um, we don't do a whole lot of events here in the colder months, but uh, it's still a really beautiful place um, to come and take pictures and spend time at. In the summer, we have a um, fishing shack and a beach bar, but during the fall and winter, we change this out and we make a cabin up on the hill up here. And we haven't done a lot with it yet, but we do plan to put some furniture in there and just make it kind of a cozy spot for people to spend time at. So yeah, that is a little quick glimpse of our beach. And if you travel up here, uh, one feature that people really like about the sim is the little archway through here with the lights definitely one of my favorite little spots so yeah if you come up here and you go to the left it is our gaming area and as you can see Harvey is over here playing greedy which is his favorite game and we have a variety of games in the gaming area we've got greedy SLopolis or no Simopolis Lexigo which is very much like Scrabble Pentati which is a lot like Yahtzee um, we have uh, a few other games as well over here. So let's see, we've got everything lined up here. I just realized that one of our score things is messed up, so I'm gonna have to fix that. So yeah, it gives you kind of a little glimpse of the gaming area. It's always fun to see people over here spending time. And we are gonna continue on to our newest area that we actually haven't even officially opened yet but it is the Burrow Beer Garden. And our goal was to create kind of an Oktoberfest German style beer garden. Um, Aria was the one that really wanted to go ahead with this project. Uh, we feel like we really haven't seen a lot of beer gardens in Second Life. If there have been, we have not been to them. So we wanted to create something a little new and fresh here. Um, and what's not to love about autumn and a beer garden, right? So here you will see we've got a central spot with this beautiful tree, lots of seating area, another stage over here for people to spend time at. And then the beer bar is over here. Aria did an awesome job detailing up the space. Um, I love the wings that Harvey put out here from Lucas Lameth. I think those are awesome. But yeah, a little beer area for people to hang out at here. And then as you continue on back over here, this is just a lookout point we created. Um, we are gonna get some seating in here soon, but really awesome lookout point that you can look and see the sim out here. So yeah. We don't have the teleport boards quite up yet, so still need to get that done. Ooh, getting a little lag at the moment. I apologize. Um, and once you exit the beer garden here, we're going to go back down. One of the bigger spots on the sim that people take photos at is our bridge. And this leads you back over to the cafe. It's a good lookout point as well. And then 
off to the side of the atrium here, we also have a little seating area for people to spend time at. So I am going to wander into the cafe and show you the two doors that lead up to two of our sky spaces. We have our whiskey pub and we have burrow number nine. Our whiskey pub is where we have a lot of various DJs, um, some musicians, parties. It's a nice spot for people to spend time at. Um, the door sign does not want to res at the moment, but this says to the whiskey pub and you click here and it pops us up in our whiskey pub. We have, hopefully everything loads in here for me. There we go. Um, another calendar here that Lucky put up for us for people to see what's on our schedule of events. We've got a little food truck over here with lots of little pub snacks, hot dogs, all kinds of stuff. And then this is our pub. I'm really proud of this space. Um, I did the creation of most of this and it's a favorite space on the sim and for myself. I, uh, I really enjoy hanging out with people up here. Um, and we have the burrow bear who people have dressed up in a hat and sunglasses. And then we have Jason Mimosa, our bro bartender, also modeled after, of course, Jason Momoa. Um, and he is quite the conversation starter as well up here. And all the ladies really love him. And uh, yeah, so there is our bar. And then over here is our other stage space. And we, uh, we have a really good time up here. And then a little outdoor patio space with some cuddle seating and nice spots to hang out here as well. We also have a teleport board up here um, and you also can access the cafe back through these doors. Um, the cafe also has a way to get up to the bro number nine club, but we can also just use our teleport board. So click here. And this takes us up to bro number nine. Uh, Lucky did this awesome logo for us. And then you enter here. And Aria made this place extra sparkly. <laughs> But we have a lot of our like high energy parties here, anything that's got kind of a club feel to it. Um, I know there is a ton of clubs in Second Life, uh, but we, uh, we really have a great time here. We do some EDM sets, just uh, a lot of fun, high energy events. Um, but yeah, uh, got some water features in here, two bars, a lot of seating spaces. Um, there's a little lounge space back here for people to hang in. Um, we even changed up our teleport board and all the things board so that they match here. Um, one thing I did not point out, but we keep these in all of our spaces. It just basically says that we're a safe space. You know, we don't have any kind of tolerance for anti-LGBT plus racism or intolerant behavior at Bro. You know, if we see anybody doing any of those things, we kick them. So this is a safe, a safe space for absolutely anyone in Second Life to come spend time at. Um, and we want everyone to feel loved and welcome when they're here. That's really important. Um, and that's one thing we stand behind here at Bro. So, um, yeah, makes it a really special community. And um, I'm, I'm really proud of this place. I'm proud of our staff. Uh, we have an amazing management team, um, you know, and an amazing staff of hosts and baristas and entertainment and just people that really just wanna be a bigger part of this community, which makes it really special. Um, and I'm, I'm quite honored to not only call them coworkers, but friends and if you've never been to Burrow before, definitely step by. It's a, it's a really special place. Um, and we have a lot of fun here. So I pretty much think that's most of the stuff on the tour today. I have hopped back down to the cafe now. The lag is getting very real for me today. I think I've just filmed for too long or something. So I'm going to go ahead and stop. But I will make sure to include the landmark for Burrow in the comment section or the uh, description section. So yeah, thank you for going on the tour today. And we look forward to seeing you at Burrow Co. soon.